So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing another one of my current favourites videos and the one today is wheel cleaning. Now I did a video a few sort of weeks ago talking about my current favourite wash products and of course could have included wheel cleaning products in there but I didn't want to make the video really long and I thought that wheel cleaning was quite a big topic in itself uh, to make a separate video on that to me made sense. So today I'm going to be sort of talking you through the different products I use to clean the alloy face, the tyres, different kind of tyre dressing that I use, um, protection of the alloys themselves and a few of the accessories that I use along the way. So I'm going to crack on and start with the first product and that is of course Garage Therapy Wheel Shampoo. Now I have to admit when I first sort of heard of wheel shampoos I was thinking do you really need one? Is there, is there much point? What do they actually add? And this changed my sort of opinion having tried this so I will say actually I was very very kindly sent this one by Garage Therapy but as always you know I'm honest about the feedback that I give on all the products here behind me. So why why use a wheel shampoo? What is the point of them? Well one of the things the advantages of this in particular is the amount of lubrication it actually gives. It feels so so safe on finishes that you'd usually be a little bit worried on so things like gloss black wheels and um, personally I just like to kind of be a bit more careful with my alloys themselves and um, they're not a particularly delicate finish but you know I'd rather clean them as safely as possible and um, so I think that that's a definite bonus. Another bonus is that when you're using it even if the solution gets a little bit dirty when you're cleaning the wheels themselves it doesn't kill the suds in the solution so sometimes when you use regular shampoo it sort of the, the solution just dies and you're kind of not really using any lubrication when, when you are washing them and um, whereas this doesn't do that it really sort of keeps its stability throughout the process which I think is a huge huge bonus. Um, another thing as well is I thought initially that this would be just used to maintain my wheels you know a, as a safe option as you know something just to do weekly and I was thinking this won't work on really dirty wheels you'll need some a lot more aggressive and I was actually quite wrong I uh, cleaned and Audi A4's alloys a little while ago using just the wheel shampoo and it did an absolutely cracking job on its own which I was very very surprised about and um, just thought you know it's not gonna have too much bite to it but it actually really does so it works for cleaning wheels that you know you're really concerned about the safety with the finish but also wheels that are very dirty themselves it doesn't it you know it works really well with those you know you don't have to use extra products if you don't want to also you can use this on any part of the wheel so you can use it on the face of the alloys you can use it to clean the tyres, of course it's not going to give them a super super deep clean and um, you might need something more aggressive for that but for general maintenance this works great and I use it on the wheel arches and things as well. My favourite way to use this product is in an IK Foma which I'll talk about in a minute um, and I add sort of around 10 to 15 mil in around 500 mil water, spray it all over the wheels, a bit on the sort of brushes and the mitt I use as well and yeah basically that sort of really works out quite well. Some people might think it's a bit of a gimmick um, and a little bit unnecessary but I just really enjoy the process of using that. So yeah this is an absolutely fantastic product. If anyone knows any good wheel shampoos as well then let me know but I'm probably just going to get a litre of this regardless. I might try others but I just yeah I don't know how I could live without this product now having tried it. Um, so next one I wanted to talk about was the way that I sort of clean the tyres and I don't use a dedicated tyre cleaner not because I'm against them but just because I haven't tried one and I'm pretty happy with my current method I, although again you know if anyone does have any recommendations for dedicated tyre cleaners of course let me know that too but what I use for this is just your trusty old Surf XHD so I've just got this litre I've got barely any of it left to be honest probably need to get a bit of a restock of that um, but it, it just it just it just works and the best thing about it is it's so cheap it's just costing pennies to make up around a five to ten percent solution is what i go for depending on how dirty the wheels actually are and um, five to ten percent spray it on scrub it in and it just it works it might take a couple of passes but i just find that it's just sort of a fuss free kind of option i could go with maybe a more exciting product but for me cleaning tires is a pretty boring job and it's not my favorite so I don't, you know, maybe I could jazz it up, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I just find that this this just works, gets the job done. Um, so next I want to talk about the products that I use to protect the actual alloy faces. And I just use a spray and rinse sealant for this. Now this is Bouncer's Wax Bead Juice. Um, so yeah, like I said, spray and rinse sealant. I know some people, you know, stop ceramic coat the wheels and of course, you know, that's a 
brilliant option to do. Personally, not something that I'm too bothered about. I'm thinking I might get some different alloys at some point in the future, so I can't really be bothered ceramic coating them <laughs> at the moment. Whereas if I do get new alloys, I probably will do that um, before sort of sticking them on the car. But I find that this just works fantastic. I spray it on roughly sort of every month or two and it just adds obviously you know that water repellency helps keep them clean so you know makes the wash process easier but also it just helps remove the dirt it barely uses any product either so one possibly two sprays on the wheels um, is enough i probably go a bit overboard when i do it but yeah you just need no product apply it roughly once every couple of months and yeah just does a cracking job and um, so very kindly sent that one for free as well but of course you know like i said and um, just honest about the feedback that i give so the next one that i've got on this list is another garage therapy product and it is of course the tire serum here and um, so i won't call it a dressing because i know that that's not really telling the sort of whole story with the product but as a dressing i guess you could call it in some respects you could use it as a dressing it has additional properties and i'll talk about those in a minute but it is the longest lasting one that i've tried tried quite a few and this one does tend to make it through some pretty grim weather and I think it does a really good job in terms of durability. Of course the wheels get dirty, you're going to have to clean them, it's not going to you know completely repel dirt and water forever, that's not how it works but in terms of helping to keep them clean and sort of well maintained this one just does a really really good job. I absolutely love the finish of this as well. For some tyres that are really really sort of old and worn I like using something that's a little bit more shiny and um, it's just to kind of bring a little bit more life back into them but personally for my car I absolutely love the finish of this it's more of a kind of satin finish it's not too in your face it just leaves a nice amount of sort of shine it's not dull but it just really refreshes them and they just the car just looks complete with it rather than kind of looking at my car and just looking at the tyres which isn't really what I want I just want it to complete the overall look and I think that the product really really does that another great thing about it is that you barely need any of it so a tiny tiny amount on the applicator you've got to be careful not to over apply it to be honest because you need probably less than you'd expect and it just yeah it works really well it's not the cheapest product in the world I think it's around £13 maybe and um, I'll of course leave a link in the description so you can check it and um, but the amount you use is obviously you know reducing that kind of cost for application I've been using this weekly now and you can't really see the products in here too much but you can kind of see maybe you can see where the light's hitting it I don't think you can I can look it on the camera and you can't uh, but it's up to about there so just for perspective I've been using that every week for maybe around 12 weeks and that is how much of this product I've got so yeah you just you need so little of it to actually get by and um, so of course there are additional benefits like I said at the start it's not just a tyre dressing it's described as a tyre serum and the idea is it's got some kind of sort of replenishing properties to the rubber so you know it's going to help prevent things like sort of the tyres going brown and also obviously it adds protection to stop you know dirt and things like that to help keep them clean but it just keeps the rubber kind of conditioned and yeah just looking good so i've not tried it yet on really sort of old grubby tires and um, but i think i will do because yeah if it works this well on my tires then it'd be really interesting to see what it looks like on some tires that aren't kind of giving as much care and uh, i think that'd be interesting to see so next i just want to quickly talk about some of the different equipment that i use to clean the wheels so first starting off with the ik foamer which i've got back here now I've got a review of this and um, which kind of shows you a little bit in action there are of course pros and cons to this you know you've got to pump it up and it doesn't last that long when you actually spray it but some people say this is a bit of a gimmick and I kind of get where that's coming from you know you don't need this to clean your wheels however I use it on every wash and if I didn't like it and didn't think that it was beneficial to me then I wouldn't use it on every wash so I think it works really really well with the tyre serum not a tyre serum no it doesn't do not put that in there it works really really well with the wheel shampoo so yeah it's my kind of favorite way to clean the wheels is using those two in combination next i also have some brushes back here so starting off with this one so this is just a hog's hair brush they do them everywhere you know there's not too much special going on here what i use this for is for cleaning the tires so when i'm just sort of maintaining them i don't want to strip the finish back because i don't want to remove the tire serum if i don't need to so i use this and the wheel shampoo and just kind of scrub it on using this it's not too aggressive and um, just helps to keep them clean but without sort of scrubbing any of the the tire serum wrong way and then we've got obviously this sort of classic one here so this one was from into detailing 
it's looking a little bit dirty not too bad i guess um but this i use on tires that are sort of really really dirty so i use this kind of in combination with an apc usually and um, just to kind of give the tires a little bit more of a scrub the bristles are very very stiff and um, so it's going to help clean them more but of course it's going to kind of strip that tire serum back a bit more so i don't use this weekly but i use that softer brush but yeah on wheels that need it i find that this is very very useful next we've got the ones that i use to clean the alloys and um, the barrels so i've got these two here and these two come in a pair from sgcb uk and um, so i'll pop them back stop waving them about but i have got a review of those as well because i think that they're actually really really good they're sort of i purchased them really as sort of an alternative to wheel woolies and um, because i saw the price of them and i just I, I winced a little bit because it's a lot of money to be spending on an alloy brush and um, but i find that these work really well for my wheels they aren't the perfect size it takes a little bit longer than i would like it to because the big brush doesn't work in all the areas so i'm looking to get a sort of flat head design one but it's not at the top of my list of things to buy because you know these are doing the job for now and um, but yeah i think if you have alloys that fit these really well then they're absolutely fantastic they've been holding up really well use them weekly for yeah around three and a half four months probably more than that actually now and um, using them for quite a while so yeah they've stood up really really well and um, the only other products that i've not kind of brought here is a wheel mitt and um, so it's not really wheel mitt it's just a, it's a general microfiber mitt so i mentioned it in my wash products video so it's the Kent Car Care Microfiber Wash Mitt. Well, I don't know why I struggled with that. It's really not that difficult to say. Um, but they're just kind of noodle style mitts. And I find that these are really good to kind of get behind the spokes of the wheel, but also just clean the bulk of the dirt off the face of the wheel without having to use a brush. I find that they work really well. And they're kind of a safe method. Of course, you can use a brush, but I just find that they're a little bit softer and um, I don't really need as much agitation with a brush, particularly to clean my alloys. So of course, I'll be leaving a link in the description to all the products that I've mentioned in this video. I'll also leave a link in the description to my current favourite wash products. So if you haven't seen that video already, then you can go and check that out. If you have enjoyed the video, it'd be fantastic if you could give it a like. Comment down below if you've got any questions about the products or any recommendations. I love to hear them. Um, and subscribe if you're not already and you've made it this far through the video, then that'd be great too. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.